Hi, this is Paul with Tweet Town. We're here at Flash Memory Summit 2013. One of the great things OCZ did early on to expand their IP base and to begin to offer software solutions in tandem with the hardware solutions that they already have is they purchased a tech company from Israel named Sanrad. And today we have alone the VP of Software and Solutions with OCZ Technology Group who originated from the Sanrad Group. So, Alon, go ahead and tell us a little bit about your caching solution. At OCZ, we had the chance to take a look at the entire data path from the time that an application such as a database application requests the data down to that decision of what data to put into the flash and how that data gets into the flash. And along that data path, a lot of things happen. There are drivers, and those drivers are optimized to get as much data as fast as possible towards the flash card. But if the data that is in the flash card is not really relevant for the application when it needs it, you have not really done much. So we have added on top of this another element that will analyze what the application is doing right now and can make policy-based decisions on what data to put into the flash. We've architected it so that those two elements work uh, signifying to each other out of the data path what information is the important information right now and hence we're able to provide our users with a solution that provides both high heat ratios but at the same time very fast access towards the flash itself. And one great thing about that is you know Oracle licensing and things of that nature are very expensive per core. And when you use a, a type of solution like this what, what kind of differences do we see in the CPU utilization? Are we boosting that significantly? So you can boost CPU utilization very significantly using these solutions. Today's bottlenecks in many of the database environments is that HDD bottlenecks. The CPU power has grown tremendously, but a lot of the time when you monitor a system that has 10 cores or even 60 cores working against the back-end SAN, even though it's full of HDDs, you will see that that CPU utilization runs at 5%, 10%, and that is because those CTPUs are sitting with a lot of idle time just waiting for data to get to them from the drive. Now, Flash is actually a perfect fit for that. If the right data is on the Flash, Flash can match those requests from the CPU, and you'll see the investment that the IT has made in their servers going up um, with performance, making sure that they get the benefit from all the power that those servers can provide them. Excellent. And you know, one thing I've noticed when we've tested caching solutions in the past is how much easier makes things. We all know what it's like to lose a drive and watch our performance go down significantly during drive rebuild. And caching solutions, it's instead of a, you know, instead of you went off the cliff, it's more like you maybe just hit a bump in the road. Is, do we experience the same thing with Sandra or with the, excuse me, the VDXL? Certainly. And we also wanted to look not only at high availability from the storage perspective, but also analyze what the DBAs themselves are doing for high availability and what the applications are doing for high availability. When you look at SQL Server 2012, it includes always on capability, which does synchronous replication and also asynchronous replication. So we wanted to make sure that the system not only supports that capability, but also enhances it. And when you look at synchronous replication, really what drives performance there is how fast that other side answers that the data is being committed. When it's flash on the other side and when you have the right connectivity between it you'll get that synchronous replication a lot faster actually driving up performance on the original side because it doesn't have wow. to wait also when you're in asynchronous replication that asynchronous replication you're actually writing into logs and you're replicating from them to the other side what that entails is reading and writing data at the same time which HDDs really have an issue with absolutely latency is going through the ceiling in that case. And Flash again is a perfect fit for those types of applications. Because one thing I've noticed is, is if you alleviate the burden a 
of the reads, for instance, you, you gain much more performance from your underlying hard disk drives as well. So it's a great double benefit there. Yes, you benefit both from the data that is on the flash itself and the ability to access that data, but you also get that secondary benefit of taking a load off the underlying HDDs or underlying SANs. And this is true not only for the application itself, but usually you're in an environment where there are multiple applications that access that SAN. We've heard from IT managers where they had, for example, a, a database such as SQL Server and Oracle, that database was pounding the SAN and creating SAN bottlenecks. Once they put in the ZDXL, they not only solved the issue that their, their SQL had, but also they alleviated the SAN bottleneck, increasing performance at other applications that were using that SAN. Wow, that's actually a great point because you can get some peripheral acceleration just by pulling that extra layer off, especially if you're just accelerating maybe the most intense workloads on your, on your servers. So, you know, it sounds like a great solution and we appreciate your time. We're going to stop by your booth and we're going to take a look at an actual mock-up and some hardware a little bit later. Thank All right, you. Thank you.